everyone welcome back today's video will be another home workout challenge thing <laughs> this week i wanted to try another youtuber i know a bunch of you guys have been commenting and recommending a couple other people but for this week i wanted to go towards carolyn gervin or caroline garvin <laughs> i'm so bad with the names if you check out Caroline or Carolyn, you'll see that she has a bunch of workout programs and she has a couple playlists as well. I decided to go with the Beginner Epic program, which is five days of five different workouts, all 30 minutes each. The Beginner Epic program does have a set schedule. So for example, on day one, it was originally supposed to be booty day, but I went ahead and messed around with it a little bit just because of my schedule and my routine. And also I wanted to give myself proper rest before I did um, the same body part or worked out the same body part. My day one was arm day and that was actually a really really good video to start with because it really did set the tone right for this beginner epic program. It was fun, it was challenging, but it wasn't too difficult and specifically for me I know my body pretty well. I know that I built a lot of upper body muscle and it's like so easy to build it versus the lower body so I appreciate how the first day was helping me maintain and tone my muscles. I know in a lot of my videos, I encourage the 80-20 rule and sometimes you can see me eating different foods because of, you know, depending on my mood and everything that I've been going through with the whole emotional eating. But this week, I really, I really wanted to eat as clean as possible. Well, I'm pretty sure this week I just finished or I just started my period. And since I am on birth control, I have like a lot of different symptoms than I had previously. And bloating is one of them. And also craving sugary foods. So I just decided that I will meal prep my favorite meals, which is curry. Um, this is so easy to make. It's literally tomatoes, onion, and garlic with mung beans and a bunch of spices like turmeric, cumin seeds, um, and paprika, and a lot more. So it's a really, really healthy alternative, and it's really good and high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, a decent amount of carbs, and a decent amount of protein, which is what I need. I also messed up when I was cooking the tomato mixture. You're supposed to heat the oil and toast the cumin seeds first, but I forgot that. So I just put the garlic to the side when I was toasting it and then just mix it all together after. give this broth a little bit more flavor, I did cook two chicken breasts and I used the same water to boil and cook the mung beans. The second day was cardio for me. Surprisingly, the cardio was my favorite day out of the entire series. I've mentioned before that I prefer strength training much more than cardio, and it is a lot harder for me to raise my beats per minute or heart rate because I am so active and I can't really do it as efficiently um, with the home workouts. But this cardio workout 
helped me reach around 160 or 170 beats per minute, which is around 80% of my max heart rate. So considering you know all the other factors that make it difficult to increase my heart rate, it was nice to see that this workout was effective. Although it was a lot of burpees, I felt like it was nice. You know, it wasn't like I wasn't annoyed. <laughs> I think the Greek yogurt, the peanut butter, and the frozen fruits is probably like one of my favorite snacks right now. It's really easy to make, it has a decent amount of protein, and the best thing about it is that it doesn't break me out. <laughs> um, I know you guys may have to be careful with the dairy products that you consume, but this one, specifically this brand, um, and this amount of dairy isn't too much for me, which is nice. This is day three. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't wanna do this because I'm kinda lazy. It's like 5 p.m., which is pretty late for me. I usually start around one or two, so I'm not really feeling it, feeling it today. Um, I don't have dumbbells for this workout, which is fine. Yeah, I don't know, I don't, I just don't wanna do this. I'm not in the mood to do this, but I'll still do it. Anyways, let's get into it. As you can tell, I really didn't feel like working out today, but I still did it because I wanted to get it done. And plus it's only five days, so I can just take a couple rest days after. The dumbbell workout was my least favorite. Obviously it's because I don't have dumbbells and that's my issue. <laughs> I feel like if you had dumbbells, it would be a different story, but I just felt like this one wasn't um, as engaging as the other ones. And during this time, I was still thinking about the cardio workout and how good it was. If I can remember, I think I was still on my period this day and I was craving a lot of sugar. So instead of having like the usual high processed foods, I just decided to make um, apple cookies because I wanted to use the apples, but also it's just a nice alternative to all that sugar. This was on a different day, but I do remember it being pretty hectic and overwhelming when it came to food. Uh, my mom was off, so she decided to make wonton soup and also fry it just to see if it tastes good as well. And my dad went out because he needed to fix his work computer, so he stopped by Tim Hortons and got some iced cappuccinos and donuts for us. So this was a pretty heavy way to start the day but it was actually, you know, enjoyable. Like, I don't regret.
second last day was abs and core. I specifically chose this workout because I knew it wouldn't be too challenging or too crazy. Um, it was still good. I did still feel a burn and I could like feel myself getting tired. Um, but it just wasn't a lot of moving, which I appreciated. At this point, I was really unmotivated. You can see here that my form isn't the greatest, um, just mostly because I wanted it to get done. But we still did it, and it was a day. <laughs> When I finished cooking the curry, I did have a huge pot left over. And since it's mostly me who's eating it, I did have it almost every day throughout this week. Um, I wanted something different. I didn't really want bread or like any other carbs. I wanted to keep it pretty light since the mung beans are already pretty heavy. So I decided to mix it with some kale to give it some flavor, some greens, more nutrients, but also something that will help you know, change the dish a little bit. This was another day of me eating curry for breakfast and probably lunch. Honestly, I don't really mind eating this because it is so good and tasty. Um, I did play around with the spices a little bit more for this batch. So yeah, I had a serving of that with some egg and bread on the side. I usually do eat a little bit more heavy during lower body days because I want enough energy to go through the full workout and put my all into it, but also I do want to build muscle in that area anyway. So for this workout, um, I did try and go as hard as I could, and if I can remember it, I'm pretty sure I did enjoy it a lot. Um, I wasn't sore the next day after, but during the workouts, I was like, making faces <laughs> and trying not to give up. The last day, coincidentally, was such a treat. My mom got some free donuts from work. I don't know how. I think her friend ordered some, then gave her a pack of six. Uh, and then since it was a Friday and my sister was craving pizza, she asked my dad for some and we enjoyed both donuts and pizza. So it's just a nice way to end the week. Overall, I feel like her programs get a lot more challenging. Obviously, I did the beginner one um, just to test it out, but I will continue trying to do other workouts and keep you guys updated. I'll see you soon. Bye.